In the vast tapestry of ancient mythology, Hecate, the goddess of magic, stands as a figure both revered and enigmatic. Known as the mistress of the occult arts, she wields immense power and holds a prominent place among the pantheon of Greek deities. However, amidst the well-known tales of Olympus, there lies a realm of hidden narratives that weave an intricate web around Hecate's persona. Thus, today, we will embark on a journey of discovery, delving into the lesser-known stories of Hecate, unraveling the mysteries that have long remained concealed. Hecate, often depicted as a triple goddess, holds a unique place in Greek mythology. With her association with the moon, crossroads, and liminal spaces, she embodies the power of transformation and the liminality between different realms. Her presence evokes a sense of intrigue and fascination, drawing us into the depths of her domain. She emerges as a complex deity with a lineage intertwined with other prominent gods and goddesses. Hecate's parentage is subject to variation in different accounts, but she is often described as the daughter of Zeus and either Demeter or the Titaness Asteria. This connection to Zeus, the king of the gods, emphasizes her divine lineage and suggests her importance among the pantheon. Moreover, Hecate is renowned for her unique powers and symbols, which set her apart in the pantheon of Greek deities. Central to her identity is her association with the moon, the night, and the crossroads. The moon holds great significance for Hecate, symbolizing her connection to the mystical and hidden aspects of life. Linked to the night, Hecate is often depicted as a torchbearer, illuminating the darkness with her light. Her association with the night underscores her role as a guardian of magic, sorcery, and the hidden realms. It is during the night that the boundaries between worlds become blurred, and Hecate presides over these liminal spaces. Hecate, in her essence, has a rich mythology surrounding her. While many stories and aspects of her character are well known, there are a few lesser-known tales and details about Hecate that might pique your interest. According to a lesser-known myth, Hecate played a significant role in the creation of scorpions. The story unfolds with Leto, a titan goddess, who sought refuge on the island of Delos while pregnant with her twins Apollo and Artemis. Leto's pregnancy, however, attracted the wrath of Hera, Zeus's jealous wife. Hera relentlessly pursued Leto, determined to prevent her from finding a safe place to give birth. Witnessing Leto's plight, Hecate, known for her ability to shapeshift and her compassion for the vulnerable, decided to intervene. Transforming herself into a scorpion, Hecate distracted Hera, drawing her attention away from Leto and her unborn children. The cunning maneuver allowed Leto to safely deliver Apollo and Artemis on Delos, shielded from Hera's wrath. Hecate's act of transforming into a scorpion showcased her resourcefulness and her willingness to protect those in need. This lesser-known myth highlights her role as a guardian and defender, using her magical powers to assist those in precarious situations. The creation of scorpions, attributed to Hecate's transformation, serves as a reminder of her connection to nature and her ability to bring forth new life and forms. Although this myth may not be as widely known as others in Greek mythology, it adds depth to Hecate's character and emphasizes her role as a powerful and compassionate goddess. The story also underscores the interconnectedness of the gods and the intertwining threads of their various mythological tales. Moreover, in Greek mythology, Hecate is commonly depicted holding torches. This symbolism holds an intriguing story that further deepens her significance and role in the mythological realm. One notable tale involving Hecate and torches revolves around her assistance to Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, in her search for her abducted daughter Persephone. According to the myth, Persephone was taken by Hades, the god of the underworld, to be his queen. Devastated by her daughter's disappearance, Demeter wandered the world in sorrow, searching for her. In her desperate quest, Hecate, with her profound knowledge of magic in the unseen realms, came to Demeter's aid. Hecate, bearing twin torches, guided Demeter through the darkness of the night. The radiant flames illuminated their path, leading them through the mysterious and treacherous realms. Hecate's torches became a symbol of her role as a guide and guardian in transitions particularly in the passage from life to death and vice versa. The act of guiding Demeter in her search for Persephone solidified Hecate's association with liminal spaces and the transition between stages of existence. It established her as a deity with the power to navigate the realms of both the living and the dead, offering solace and guidance to souls in their journeys. 
The imagery of Hecate holding torches serves as a powerful representation of her role as a light bearer, illuminating the path for those undergoing significant transitions, and highlights her ability to navigate the liminal spaces between them. The torches become a beacon of hope and guidance in the darkest moments, signifying Hecate's wisdom and assistance in times of transition and transformation. Also, in the lesser-known aspects of Greek mythology, Hecate played a significant role in the events preceding the infamous Trojan War. While her involvement may not be widely recognized, there are accounts that depict Hecate aligning herself with the Trojans and utilizing her formidable magical abilities to support their cause. According to some accounts, Hecate assisted the Trojans by bestowing them with visions and prophecies. Her supernatural powers provided the Trojans with foresight and strategic guidance, granting them an advantage in their defense against the Greeks. By granting the Trojans access to hidden knowledge and glimpses of the future, Hecate bolstered their ability to navigate the complexities of the war and make informed decisions. Hecate's choice to aid the Trojans revealed her affinity for the underdog and her inclination to support those in need. As the goddess of magic and witchcraft, she possessed extensive knowledge and mastery over the mystical arts, making her a valuable ally in times of conflict and uncertainty. While the primary focus of the Trojan War is often placed on the clash between the Greek and Trojan heroes, Hecate's involvement sheds light on the multifaceted nature of the conflict. Her support for the Trojans adds another layer of intrigue and complexity to the narrative, showcasing the influence of divine forces in the outcome of the war. Another instance is that the goddess Hecate and the messenger god Hermes shared a close and mutually beneficial relationship. Their association encompassed the realms of knowledge, magic, and guiding souls. It was believed that she generously shared this wisdom with Hermes, bestowing upon him her expertise in the realm of magic. In return, Hermes, the god of communication and travel, imparted his knowledge of prophecy to Hecate. This exchange of knowledge and skills strengthened their bond and allowed them to complement each other's domains. One significant aspect of their collaboration was their joint responsibility in guiding souls. Hecate, known as a Chthonic goddess, presided over the realm of the dead and held sway over the transitions between life and death. Hermes, as the psychopomp, was responsible for leading departed souls to their final destination, ensuring their safe passage. Together, they formed a cohesive partnership in guiding souls through the intricate pathways of the afterlife. The connection between Hecate and Hermes underscores the interconnectedness of various aspects of the Greek pantheon. Their collaboration highlights the integration of magical knowledge, divination, and the journey of the soul. It also emphasizes the importance of cooperation and the sharing of wisdom among the gods. Thank you for joining us on this journey as we unveil the mysteries of Hecate, the goddess of magic. We hope that these lesser-known stories and details have deepened your understanding and appreciation of her captivating character. From her role in the creation of Scorpions, to her guidance of Demeter and her connection with Hermes, Hecate's influence extends far beyond her well-known associations. Stay tuned for our next adventure, as we uncover the mysteries of another intriguing aspect of mythology.